All right. Uh, who has a question so we can start pontificating? Yeah. Uh, so your hand first. Okay. Every year we get a little bit bigger, which is amazing and wonderful and fantastic. Is there going to be a point in time where you say no more? We don't is, want to the get question is, is there a, a point at which we will cap attendance? I think the short answer is we're going to do, we will always do what is going to keep the community vibrant. And it could be that we decide that to do that will require capping it. The hazard of doing that is it could become stagnant. Um, and right now, last year and this year's attendance is it's pretty close. We haven't had a huge bump. Uh, but it is something that um, we are aware of. So we don't think about, you know, we want to cap it. We want X number. We want it to be a vital and lively community. Yeah. At the same time, it is not like we are charging headlong towards full ship, full ship, full ship. Uh, which is not to say we don't think that would be great. Because there are a lot of things about going full ship that would be outstanding. Like we wouldn't have to bounce around at odd hours in the various venues on the ship. We would own the ship and we could say what happens when and where. We can tell the ship to just go do donuts in the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> but that said, uh, as Storm said, we also know that uh, beyond being just fraught with a whole brand new set of logistical issues, it changes the nature of the event because not everybody can attend each main show. It's going to become more of a, you know, a, a lot, like a lot of the other uh, full ship charter entertainment cruises where there'll be multiple performances by the main acts and people will go to one or another and, and otherwise there's lots of performers dotted around the ship. Uh, so we, we, we take very, we have very, very long discussions about these kinds of things every year. So we're not, we're not ruling out any option, but we're not just looking to grow for growth's sake. It, it, it is, we want to make sure it is good for everyone and most especially the people attending. And I think it's also, it's one of those things where we, you know, uh, it's, it's very hard to imagine what it would look like to jump from where we are <coughs> now to something enormous, but we have incrementally, uh, over the years, learned, how, you know, I think if you had asked us when we were 350 people the first year, how would, how would you do 800? We'd be like, no idea, impossible. But, you know, just by stepping up gradually over the years, I think we've, already this year it feels like there's too much for everybody to do everything, you know. Um, but I think we, you know, I, st I still think that, I still feel that, maybe it doesn't feel exactly the way it did when it was 350 people, but I still feel like it's a really close-knit group and a, and a really sort of uh, single, single-minded <laughs> vibe uh, on board. So, uh, you know, I like to think that we'd be able to navigate that if we felt like it was in the best interest of the group. But as, as both of these guys said, the priority is not growth and world domination. The priority is the throwing a good party. So and this said, year, go ahead. and this year, one of like our, our one of the bigger innovations was there's always been gaming. There have always been writers on the cruise, and saying, well, hey, let's set some things up that will you know make that sort of a track like you would have at a convention, but do it our way where it's not. Rigid, and we're ne we never want to force people to have to choose between a main stage and going ashore, or that kind of thing. But that it's a way to get more types of experiences that maybe not everybody participates in the, at the same time. But no matter what we do and how we do or don't grow, we always want to have experiences that everybody does have together at the same time. Like that will. You know, never say never, but that's something we can't see in any any size that we wouldn't be doing that. And that said, in the interest of growth, next year we can confirm we have booked Kiss and Kid Rock. <laughs>